Hi, I'm Philip Moore and I'm the director of Upland Hills School, which is an independent school that was started in 1971, but it was largely inspired by the inventor R. Buckminster Fuller. And uh, I had taken part in something called the World Game, which was how to make the world work for 100% of humanity without disadvantaging the natural world. We've always been involved in what I would call the clean tech revolution. So this year, um, when our eighth graders who go through school from the time they're four and a half or five and a half years old, they think of a project, their senior project, something that they can give back to the school and to the community that they're passionate about. And so this year when the eighth graders one at a time come to staff meeting and pitch their idea, Michael came to us with an idea to, um, to, to buy and, and fundraise for a, for a Dyson Airblade. Hello, I'm Michael Kasuth. I've been going to Upland Hills School since I was six years old, just about eight years. I did some research and discovered the Dyson Airblade, which I thought was a phenomenal machine. And just how it worked using the high-powered pressurized air to just scrape the water from your hands. It was a great invention, I thought. And I thought that this just completely fit in with what we're all about at this school. How do things go together? His idea of seeing the paper towel on the on the, on the bathroom floor was there's got to be a better way and then finding out what is an energy efficient, hygienic better way and that's where the Dyson Airblade came from. So now we can say that because we've just added 10.8 kilowatts of photovoltaic uh, arrays on the school, we can say that we're using uh, solar power to generate the electricity that operates the Dyson Airblade. What I've really learned here is that uh, what you do today impacts tomorrow and that you really need to find something to help other people.